السلام عليكم مرحبا بكم خوتي احبابي كاع الناس اللي راهم يشوفوا ويتفرجوا في هذا لا فيديو اليوم جبنا لكم فيديو من امريكا اعزائي المشاهدين مطعم مغربي في امريكا اكلات عادات وتقاليد مغربيه موجوده في امريكا ندخلوا نتفرجوا هذا لا فيديو ما تنساوش تشتركوا في القناه تفعلوا الجرس باش يوصلكم كل ما هو جديد وما تنساوش في الكومونتير تقولوا لنا وشنو هي الاكله المفضله عندكم انا بالنسبه لي كزرت المغرب الاكله المفضله عندي مغربي واللي تعجبني الطوب اللي هي شنو هي مثلا الطنجية اعزائي المشاهدين الطنجية مراكش من عندي ما نقول لك بزاف يلا ندخل great job of traveling around the country and finding funky joints in unique places so guess where i am san antonio texas right outside the loop of the 410 freeway by fort sam houston to check out a real deal family run moroccan restaurant yep. moroccan. this is moroccan bites the merguez is ready nadia yes ma table four kofta tajin lamb and beef meatballs it's one of my absolute favorites couscous with lamb what do you think of moroccan food excellent that's surprising been all around never had any food like this chicken pastilla chicken and powdered sugar you'd think it's you... very odd but it is amazingly good you just don't expect <laughs> flavors like this to come out it's like eating food prepared by your own moroccan mother mom lamb kebab Or this one. Lamb kebab plate. Latifa El Marudi. How is the food? Wonderful. Who opened this joint after coming to the States to be with her kids. That's, so yummy. Yummy. That's her dream to open a restaurant. Now the whole family's working here with her. Kebda with lamb too. Joseph and Wafa out front. <laughs> Nadia in the kitchen. Half chicken with rice and pastilla. Helping cook up mama's recipes. Rice for the mashwi. Like this Moroccan classic. Mashwi really? Lamb roasted in a spice rub. Yeah, it's really really nice nice combo of flavors. flavors. Everybody needs to try it. Okay, Nadia, E. What are we going to make? We're going to make the mashwi. That's a traditional Moroccan. Moroccan dish. How do we start it? We're going to make first of all the saffron and we warm it a little bit. We warm it a little bit? Yes, sir. Put Good the job. saffron in the tin foil, in the pan, and then to the stove. So okay. that little bit of saffron is for the whole lamb. Yes, sir. We put a little bit of salt. I crush it with a spoon. Kind of like a mortar pestle, but you just use a spoon of bola. Yes, sir. Let me do some of that away. Holy yes. sheep pan, Batman. Ginger. Real predominant spice in Moroccan food? Yes, sir. Salt, garlic powder. Oh, I don't know what this bindle is. Okay. Moroccan yellow saffron. It's like turmeric. It's going to put a real nice color mm -hmm. to it. It's like nacho cheese powder. Is this the saffron with the salt needs to go yes, in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Some water. And rub it together. Mm -hmm. Some more water. It smells great. The All time. Right. Let it go. Oh! اه <تصفيق> 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 really moist mm. the tune that you're playing right here i've heard it before it's called delicious mm. i can't stop eating it great job thank you here's your meshwi this is one of my favorites the way they fix it is very tender meshwi really it's very juicy great combo of flavors <laughs> it's just great and here is your merguez sandwich i love everything that i've tried you think it's okay because mama's always here sugar. Sugar. Make sure it's done right okay. i'm from morocco and i feel like I'm home here. Mashwi and eggplant. And I like all everything in the menu. You can experience something new every single time. Marinated lamb liver. Very tender and succulent. To mint tea. It's so good. And and this this Couscous done. A Friday night Moroccan family tradition. It's like very famous back home in Moroccan Fridays. But here, you can get it in Couscous. I have to tell you, this is awesome. What are we making? The couscous. Just so yes, you know. It's that's not grain. That's a, that's a little pasta. We put some olive oil at the beginning, mix it together, some water, more water. Are you measuring the water or are you no, just getting sir. a feel? Getting just getting a... the feel with my... Okay, it's kind of like wet sand. Now leave we got it to relax for like 10 seconds to 20 seconds. We'll let it relax for 10 to 20 seconds? Yes, sir. How gracious of you. And what's floating in here, lemons? Yes. Now we pour it on the steamer to steam. We'll leave it for 10 seconds. Okay, so we mix the salt in. And we're going to add it more water. Now what happens? We're going to pour it again one more time. Back on top there. of here? Yes, sir. Now how long is this going to go this time? 
five to ten minutes. No yes, cover? Sir. No, sir. Got it. What are we going to serve this with? We're going to serve it with the sole, with the lamb and vegetables. Lamb and vegetables? Yes, sir. The oil first. Lamb shanks? Yes, sir. A little bit of salt? Some ginger, no. black pepper, Moroccan yellow saffron, onion. Look at what I look at, especially the rehadrolla. And some more. Mix everything together. And how long is it going to cook? Hey, just like 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, so the lamb's cooked, all the veggies in. Like yes, sir. We're going wow. to add it. We have carrots, Definitely. turnip, yellow squash. Zucchini, green oh, squash, God. potatoes. Potatoes? Yes. And bar squash. Butter squash. Tomato sauce. In Moroccan food. In Moroccan. Hey, wow. And water. Make it stew. How long? Like 35 minutes. Okay. So serve it up. Look how light and fluffy that is. I'm going to get the meat. In America, Ramadan, we have to eat potatoes. Potato in there, huh? Pizza, almori. 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 Pizza, haven't heard that in a while, have you? Let's check this lamb out. Mmm. Pretty tender. Wow. Yeah. Anytime the meat's cooked really close to the bone, mm. it's a lot of really flavor in there. There's a sweetness with all the vegetables, kind of fish like stew that my mom would make. Mm. And then the, the couscous itself, the individual the pieces of the pasta, really nice it's and light. And of milk. Mm. All that great flavor. Mmm. <laughs> Great job, thank you. Thank you so much. As well. Lamb with vegetables. It's fabulous. I could have it every day. The texture is quite lovely. Amazingly light and soft. It's almost as if they're separating each grain to make it so light and fluffy. The vegetables are fabulous. You can't compare it to anything, really. Dynamite. All right, listen. When we come back to San Antonio, Texas. It's more rock and Moroccan with Nadia. Bon hummus coming up. Every chickpea is whole. It's totally different. Wait till you see this. No, that. Mm. Don't go anywhere. The مناسبة على الأكلات المغربية أنا زرت المغرب كل تختارات يعني والحاجة المميزة اللي شفت في الأكل المغربي اللي هي التوابل. يعني يديروا بزاف التوابل هذوك الامور هي اللي تعطي الميزه الخاصه بها ولا النكهه الخاصه بها نكملوا الفيديو مع بعضنا Welcome back to San Antonio Texas we're at a joint called Moroccan Bites and we're hanging out with Nadia E Nadia Lam kebab is ready making some rock and Moroccan Hamas You got to be kidding me What is this one called let's get everything we have in the entire kitchen and put it in a dish Not everything What do we make it Moroccan hummus Okay go for mm -hmm. it Olive oil celery <laughs> green pepper Red pepper, onion, tomatoes. Is everybody in the pool? Oh, yes, sir. Some garlic, parsley, salt, paprika, cumin, ginger. What the hell is it? Almost coriander. Cool. Lots of bay leaf. Red pepper, oh. yellow saffron. Love that stuff. And water. Okay. Go mix it. The last time I was in the middle of the night, I was like, I'm going to be hydrated. 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 No, we don't. No? No. We serve it rustic? Yes, sir. Another 20 minutes, that's it. Now the hummus is ready. Wait till you see this. That's Moroccan hummus. Like vegetarian chickpea stew. Yes, sir. Do I eat it like stew? But you're going to eat it like Moroccan hummus. They're going to eat the hummus with the cream, the zahir, they're going to eat the hummus with the buzzaloo. Really savory broth, big hearty texture. It's interesting, a little bit of spice now. They're going to eat the chili flakes and some black pepper. And the bread? Mmm. That's a big meal. Excellent. That was a superstar. Thank you. Super is your hummus place with Moroccan bread. You get all of these textures together. It's fantastic. Mm, mm, mm. Flavors are great. They just mm, explode mm. in your mouth. Very fresh. It's just fantastic. Is this like the food that you had, in Morocco? Very much. Yeah. I mean, like real deal. Real deal. Real deal. Right down to this traditional sausage. The merguez is ready. Made with traditional spices. Seven Moroccan spices. And served up on a sandwich. Merguez, merguez. sandwich. It's really great right here. Okay, what are we on to? Merguez. The, merguez. The, yeah. the sausage. The Moroccan sausage. Got yes, it. Sir. First we trim the beef. Okay. Now we're going to clean the lamp. It's a nice white lamp. And fat. Then we're going to grind it. Yes, sir. Hot oh, yes, sir. That's it, guy. 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 <laughs> Start with the beef. So a little bit of lamb, a little beef. The meat's the really lean. When are you going to put some fat in? I did already. It's coming up. Look. Oh, way to live on the edge. Okay, so we run this through how many times? Two times. Now what do we do? We get the Moroccan spices. Yeah, cool. Turmeric, clove, the nutmeg, cardamom, black pepper and chili pepper, the cinnamon, and, and the ginger. ginger. This is the common seven spices of Moroccan food? Yes, sir. Toast it all up. Mmm, smell that. And yes. then we'll grind it. It's getting busy in there. Did <laughs> Oh, you should smell that. That's crazy. Now we're going to put the meat in the machine like this. We can mix it with all of the ingredients. We got salt, paprika, Love paprika, cumin, coriander, crushed pepper, some water, of the seven Moroccan spices. And you just kind of eyeball it. Yes. Sir. So we mix this up till it's all incorporated. It smells awesome. Okay. So our mixture of our meat. To put it inside the machine and put it into the casing. Now it's on the machine. Put some oil in it with the casing. Lamb, pork. Yes, lamb. Look at it. 
All right. Yeah. So now you tie a knot at the end. The tiniest Huddle. knot I've ever seen in mankind. You're like a surgeon. Crank it up. Here it comes. We'll just run them all out and then yes. twist them. Twist them. I like this. Mm -hmm. Let it rest for a couple hours. Yes, sir. On the grill? Yes, sir. And then the bread? Yes, sir. We toast that too? Yes, sir. Like this or like this? Just like this. Okay. So yes, tell sir. me what's in the yes, relish. Sir. Yes, sir. Oil, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Onion, <laughs> tomatoes, green olive, salt, black pepper. We cook this for 15 to 20 okay. minutes. Okay. We'll let it cool. After that, that goes on the sandwich. And we put our sauces in. And that's it. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, the meat was really lean, and there's a lot of flavor. Mm. You get that seven spice. You will, little touch yeah, of the yeah, little touch of cardamom. Mm. That relish is out of bounds. It's an awesome sandwich. I'm glad you like it, sir. I like it. I love it. Here is your mega sandwich. It has wonderful spices. Very flavorful. Really nice texture. Mega is really. Prime time. It's outstanding. What makes it is the relish that they put oh, on. Oh, oh, relish is out of bounds. Moroccan hummus and bread. It's all good. Hummus. And your lamb tagine with those. It's a great place. They nice just fun. really enjoy what they do when it shows. You wait till your Triple D family shows up. You're going to be in big trouble. You guys got to come check this out. In the most shadid, I could tell you that I didn't see this video. مش فناش في هذا الفيديو ما ما فهمتش علاش يعني يعني بالنسبه لي الاكله هي الطوب عندي الطوب هي الطوب يعني هي احسن اكله مغربيه عندي انا هي للاسف ما شفناهاش ما شفناش الطنجيه ما شفناش الطنجيه تحيه الناس مراكش بعثوا لنا الطنجيه كاش ما كاين تحيه لكم كبيره او ديكاس كبيره وكاين بالنسبه لمناسبه هنا في وتسوف نسكن انا كاين واحد مغربي حار ستورون سبيسيال يعني هو مراكشي فيها اكله تقليديه مغربيه ان شاء الله كاش نهار نروح عنده وندير عنده فيديو تفوت ان شاء الله كورونا وكذا يعاود يفتحوا كذا ان شاء الله نروح عنده نصور عنده وندير عنده فيديو تما انا دائما مره مره كي نتوحشها نروح ناكلها عنده التحيه لي ديكاس لي كبيره نتمنى يعجبكم لا فيديو ما تنساوش في القناه تفعلوا الجرس باش يوصلكم كل ما هو جديد وما تنساوش تروحوا لانستغرام تاعي ابونيفو اي مرحبا بكم السلام عليكم